let go of the need to know absolutely everything at absolutely every moment. Mm -hmm. And let go of your job every now and then. You know, you cannot have perspective if you are always pushed up against the, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, you know, periscope. Think about that. You know, if, if, if we were born with our eyes locked in one of those telescopes, the world would always look one way. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you step back from it and look at the broad picture, and then this is the narrow picture, you have a totally different perspective, right? Well, it's right. the same way with a job. Yeah. At some point, you've got to walk away from the job and say, no emails and no phone calls and no paperwork, and I'm going to force my brain to empty itself out because you need to, you need to be able to think uh, about something else. And I'll give you the best lesson that I ever learned in that came very early in my life, um, and yet I can still remember it, and now I bet it's 30 years old already, maybe longer. I was a, um, I was a budding, you know, writer. I was on an early assignment, and I got sent to a, a interview a photographer who at the time was a very, very famous photographer, like Scavulo, but I can't mm -hmm. remember his name. Yeah. It wasn't Scavulo, but it was a guy like that. And I said to him, uh, how did you, you know, how did you develop your talent? How did you, you know, know that you were on your way to becoming an artist? And he said, well, when I was your age, which at the time was, you know, early 20s, he said, I, there was a guy like me who everybody looked up to. And so I ran out and took a bunch of pictures and everything, and I wanted to know what he thought of me. And so I put them in a uh, folder, and I sent them off, and I said, you know, what do you think? Do you think I have what it takes to be a photographer? What should I do next? And he said, and I got them back a couple weeks later, mm -hmm. and there was a note, a handwritten note. And the note said, dear such and such, it's obvious from your photos that you have mastered the basics of photography. Now my advice to you is go out and listen to the best music you can, watch the best cinema, read the greatest books, observe the best dance, visit the best art, and the rest will take care of itself. And that was the extent of his advice. And he said, and that's mm -hmm. been the key to my yeah. success. Now, when you think about that, there's nothing in there that says uh, this lens, this camera body, this exposure, right. all the specifics, right. all the minutia, the, all the stuff yeah. that would be on your Blackberry. Right. There was nothing. What he said was create a world in which you yeah. could become inspired mm -hmm. and the rest will take care of itself. Yeah. And that's what I mean by letting go. You need to yeah. know how to step away from the minutia the exposure, the lens, the rest, mm -hmm. and, and put yourself in an environment where, where wherever it is, if it's sunshine, if it's scenery, if it's adventure, if it's exhilaration, whatever it is, can inspire you to think great thoughts and, mm -hmm. then, and, and then come back to your minutia and you'll be a better yeah. photographer, CEO, whatever the case may be. And he was right. Yeah. And I've tried to do that with my life too. That's great.